retinoids, the gold star of skincare ingredients and probably the single best ingredient to include in a skincare routine outside of sunscreen. This week's voting category was a little bit tricky because some brands only offer one strength while other brands have like a whole series in, in the same branding, but just at different strengths. So the brands that offer multiple strength for the one type of product ranked a bit higher in the list. And just to mention the results of this list come from my Instagram page. Because some brands do offer multiple strength, I've actually, I've actually counted this ranking in two different ways. The first list is the one that I'll actually talk through, which uses the combined votes. And at the end, I'll flash up on screen just a slide showcasing what the actual voting results were like if individual products were counted instead. It's just that the order of popularity changes a little bit based on combined votes or individual votes. Also, it seems retinaldehyde has well and truly become the favorite cosmetic retinoid. I wonder if we'll see retinol phased out over the next couple of years. I actually have a video coming up pretty soon discussing the retinoid pathway and the different retinoid options. So stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get straight into the top 10. Number 10 is the Beauty of Josen Revive Eye Serum. This product I haven't personally used, but I know a lot of people use it as an overall face product, not just for the eyes. Number nine is the Saatchi Skin Retinol Overnight Reform. This is very much like a one and done type serum with 0.05% with retinol, plus a bunch of antioxidants and other brightening ingredients. The texture is creamy, but still feels quite light. Number eight is Geek and Gorgeous A-Game. Such a great value option that comes in a couple of different strengths. Number seven is Skin Rocks Retinoid 2. This uses 0.05% retinol with 0.05% HPR, allowing for kind of multi-action benefit in a really luxurious texture. I think this is a good product, but maybe a little bit pricey. Number six is the famous Adapalene, usually from different, but La Roche-Posay also makes one. Adapalene is already over the counter in the United States and recently became over the counter as a therapeutic good in Australia. It's just in Australia, you need to get it from a chemist. So you might need to ask for it if you don't see it straight on the shelf, but you won't need a prescription. If you have acne, this is definitely the way to go. Number five is the Ordinary Retinol 0.2% Emulsion. Quite a high strength and a bit surprising for the ordinary, but I know sometimes they lean into fairly strong product categories. I think because this is an encapsulated form, like most retinols are, you'll probably still experience it in a relatively gentle way but yeah it was a bit surprising i love to see it though it's a really good price number four is the go-to very amazing retinol which actually includes 0.25 percent retinol even higher and to my knowledge it's the highest that i've seen in a retinol product I love this formula. It's a gelled kind of slightly oily texture, but they've used such a nice blend of ingredients. It makes a lot of sense as an overall skin health product. This has a particularly strong, like super strong orange color that will make your skin look a little bit funny. So just to ensure that you're applying it about 30 minutes before bed to avoid pillow transfer. Number three is the Naturium Retinaldehyde Cream Serum. Such a beautiful light gel texture using micro sponge delivery system. And this comes in a couple of different strengths. This was probably my favorite cosmetic formula before GoTo came out. And now they're quite tired and GoTo just pips them because of the high strength, which I'm a fan of. Number two is the Medicaid Crystal Series. And probably the brand that put Retinal on the top. They've done so much work on education everyone on retinol versus retinol so credit where it's due unpopular opinion though i don't love the texture of the crystal series to me it feels quite suffocating on the skin a little bit like just heavy too creamy too nourishing and i feel like it kind of clings to the surface of my skin and doesn't really absorb properly but that's just me being quite fussy no complaints on the actual efficacy or quality of this product it's just like a cosmetic distinction and number one i'm very happy to say is tretinoin from various providers so including actual prescription from the dermatologist, but also a lot of those online services like Skin and Me Curology, Skin Software, uh, Apostrophe, all of those. So that all the voting was grouped for all strengths of tretinoin and from all providers. This is, and put simply, this is the ingredient that all others are trying to copy. So I guess might as well use the original if you can, if your skin can tolerate it, and if you have easily enough access. That's the end of the overall retinoid ranking. I'll now flash up on screen the results of individual products. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to stay tuned for a video I have coming up kind of describing or explaining retinoids overall as a really long retinoid guide. So I just filmed that video. It's super long. I have to edit it, but I hope it'll be helpful. So yeah, so yeah, I'll see you then.